I'm not really sure why I'm making this video. But I'm going to make it because hopefully this is going to help someone. And probably a lot of you people might be feeling the way I'm feeling right now. <clears throat> I lost my job just over a week ago. And I didn't like the job anyway. It was uh, commission sales, 100% commission. So it was tough and it was cutthroat. You know, people would... Uh, People would try to steal your sales, they would put you down, basically try to undermine your confidence, and I didn't like it, but it was a job, and it paid my rent, and it paid my bills, and it fed me. That's all gone now. Now I have no income. I'm about to lose my apartment. I barely had enough to cover my car insurance, so at least I have a vehicle. And I live in a small town, and there's not much work available. So uh, I'm at the point now where I think I'm, I'm seriously just going to go somewhere else and find a job. I have a job interview tomorrow in a town about 200 kilometers away, but I'm going to do it. May as well, you know. I'm 33 years old. I look like shit right now. I probably look older than 33, but that's how old I am. And you know what? Call it call it an existential crisis. Maybe that's what I'm going through because I uh it occurred to me the other night, you know, why do I have to bother going on at all? Why should I continue? Why what what purpose do I serve, right? Because both my parents are gone. And I do have a couple close family members left, but I get the feeling they wouldn't miss me that much, you know. Maybe they would. But anyway, um, I'm not going to give up. And I'm not suicidal. I'm, I, but I think about it every day. I, I'm going to be honest, every day... For the past year, actually, I would say for the past year, I've thought about suicide every day. Because some days it's really a comfort, you know, to know that if I really need a way out, there's always that. But we shouldn't even ever have to think about that because suicide is not something we're supposed to do. That's uh, it's considered to be selfish. and But is it? Is it selfish? I don't know. Because there's different ways of looking at it. You know, you, you, could, uh, you could say that people wanting you to stay, maybe they're the ones that are selfish because they don't know what you're going through mentally. And they're not, maybe they're not taking the time to understand how you feel, or they can't understand how you feel. And they're saying, well, this guy wants to kill himself. Well, he's being selfish, you know, and he doesn't respect himself. So why should we, why should we respect him? Well, suicide is something that everybody thinks about. Actually, when you think about it, it takes a lot of courage to do that, but I've decided I'm not going to do it, and I don't encourage anyone to do it. If you're thinking about it, talk to somebody. Um, but I understand how people get feeling so low that they feel like that's the only way out of their problems, it's the only way out of their predicament, is to die. That's real. You know, real life is scary. And that's why a lot of people don't like to talk about it. That's why we occupy ourselves with all this other stuff that doesn't mean anything, all this materialism. And and I'm I'm just as bad. I do that all the time. You know. But when you really get to what life is all about, 
and you look at life and really examine it for what it is, it's scary. You know? It can be a beautiful thing too, but when, when you're destitute, you have no money, you're, you're about to live in your car because you can't afford rent anywhere, and you can't even afford to eat, <laughs> you know? That is scary. And it's something that a lot of people... A lot of people might think, oh, well, that could never happen to me. I'm too responsible. You know, that could never happen to me because I would never allow that to happen. Well, let me tell you, it doesn't take much to knock you off your little pedestal there. It just takes a convergence of really unfavorable circumstances for you to end up without money and without any support. It can happen to anybody. It really can. It's happened to movie stars. It's happened to other celebrities. It's, it's you know... Um, doesn't mean you're a failure if you wind up homeless. And, that, you know, it's just, um, there's a lot of things I, I could have done to prevent it. I'll say that. That maybe there's a, a lot of inaction on my part that led to it. But I'm confident I'm going to get through it. It's not going to be easy. But, um... I think what I'm going to do is live in my car for a while and uh, work full time, try to save money because I want to prevent, I don't want to end up in this situation ever again where I'm at right now. Oh, and another reason I'm broke and about to lose my apartment, I bought my girlfriend what was supposed to be an engagement ring, I guess you could call it a promise ring. It was $800, that's not much for a ring, not much at all, but that's why I have no money, but you know what, I wasn't going to change my mind because I love her very much, and I got fired eight hours after I purchased that ring online. And I wasn't going to change my mind. I wasn't going to return. I wasn't going to cancel the order because I already made the decision and I thought, no, she's going to get this ring because she means a lot to me. But she's gone away for two weeks and uh, I miss her very much and she knows what I'm going through right now, but I, would, I don't want to bring her down with me, you know. So, um... This video, I'm dragging it on way too long, I apologize, so I'm just going to wrap this up and say, you know, I'm sure a lot of you out there may feel the things that I'm feeling right now. If you feel like you're you're down and out or you're, you're having an existential crisis, you know, the suicide's not the way, you know, um... If you're thinking about it, talk to somebody. I don't advocate it, but, you know, people have their reasons for doing it. Like, I, I've had a couple close friends in my life that have done it, you know, and, and I said to myself, well, I don't know what was going through their mind at the time. You know, we don't know. We can't know. So who am I to judge him? You know, um, your life is your own. And if you feel like you need out. But people will be hurt. People will miss you. People will, uh, people will remember you. Hopefully only the good things. And there's other options, you know. But this life we live in, in this world, is not easy, you know. And it all seems to revolve around materialism and money, you know. And, and if you don't have money, they, they make you feel like you're worthless. And if you don't have a nice car and a nice house, and there's something wrong with you. You're a loser. You're, you're a failure if you don't have those things. That's, we know that's, that's bullshit, though. That's not true. So I'm just going to wrap this video up and say, uh, you know, thanks for watching and, and hopefully 
maybe this video will help someone you know help someone realize that you're not alone I feel I feel like you know I can maybe reach out to someone through this and, and at the same time help myself and really I'm I'm trying to comfort myself by doing this too and other people so I'm going to wrap this up and um, I hope you all took something away from this video and uh, thanks for watching and try to keep your chin up. You know, it helps to have a good sense of humor. Don't take life too seriously because uh, life is temporary, right? Who knows what's next, you know? So chin up and thanks for watching.